Morning everyone, it is raining, it is horrible, and I'm not dressed for forest school today. I'm not going out to the forest. I have been booked on to a emergency pediatric first aid course. So that's where I'm going today. Pediatric first aid is really important for forest school, working with children. Uh, so I'm gonna go and upgrade my skills, get the new certificate, and uh, be a better professional for working with children in the forest. Uh, so this looks like it. San John ambulances everywhere. This has got to be the place for the first day course. Uh, so the uh, first day course went really well yesterday, it was a whole day, um, passed everything obviously, I've done it so many times, but um, learnt a few new things as well, always good to learn new things, and that first day course is specifically looking at paediatric care as well, working with infants and young children. Um, ended up going up for a bit of a run yesterday, time to get a bit fit, getting ready for the summer. Um, today I'm going to go out in the woods, have a little hike around. The weather's not great, it's really foggy, it's really misty, it's cold, it's wet. But forest school is for every weather and forest school teachers should be for every weather as well. So I'm going to go out, walk around, get a few miles under my belt um, and then try and find somewhere, probably get a coffee going. Maybe I'll find something else to snack on in my bag. We'll see what we can find. I'm going to enjoy the day. They've just released a load of uh, horses and special cows onto the uh, onto the common here. Uh, so good. This one's got a radio around its neck so they can try and find out where it is. Horse just made the biggest noise ever. <laughs> I'm not very good with horses. <laughs> I've left it. Smart. So I've come off the main track. Just into the woods now. Gonna do a little fire. Gonna find a nice place. I think I'm gonna do it right by this tree. And I've got a little seat as well.
as you can see I've prepared the ground, prepared the tender and prepared the kindling. Each pile, a pile of sticks going up in size and I've also made a quick fuzz stick because all the wood's a little bit wet today. Not the prettiest one I've ever done but it should work well. So I'm going to use my Swedish flint and steel. I'm going to put spark just onto the charcoal. Got it. And hopefully we're going to get a fire going. So one of the things I like to do with forest school is get the kids trying to cook a piece of toast. It teaches them to wait, it teaches them to look after their fire. They get very disappointed if uh, their fire goes out before their toast is cooked, so it teaches them that they've got to prepare better. So here I've used a, a green stick, just trim the bark off so it's nice and clean. I've stuck it in a Y stick on the ground so I don't have to keep holding it. I can just allow the heat of the fire to cook the toast, get it ready. Not very bushcraft, but it's a good idea for forest school. It teaches the kids many things. And who doesn't like toast? Everyone likes toast. So there we go, got my toast nicely cooked. A little bit of the old magic, magic butter. Now I need to get my coffee. Yeah, perfect. espresso in the forest. Much better than Costa Coffee. I've got my toast, got my coffee. Time to sit back and enjoy the forest. So I've had a really good day today. I've been out and about, hiking around, saw some horses and made a fire, done some cooking. It's been great. If you are a forest school teacher, you need to get out in the forest. Um, if you want to be the best maths teacher, you've got to study maths. If you want to be the best English teacher, you've got to study English, English literature, all those things. If you want to be a great forest school teacher, you need to spend time in the forest because the forest is going to help develop your skills, help develop your understanding and that can come into the class, into your group and you can train those young people not just out of book knowledge but out of experience. Um, so today, look what I found, look what I found a mushroom, look at this one, or a fungus. It was growing off an old hazel tree, rotten, there was quite a few of them, so I've snapped this one off, I'm going to take it home, check it out, it doesn't look edible but it might be. So even the forest is going to be teaching me new things. So don't forget to subscribe, share, spread the word. Let's get everybody discovering new things in the forest. Bye.